Hello my super awesome friends, how are ya? In this video I want to show you how to do this Katrina lamp and I hope you enjoy the process. I officially welcome to Halloween and Dia de Muertos, my favorite time of the year, almost. And I will use this uh, as a date sheet in this uh, Katrina to give me an idea of what I want to do. Most of you already know how to do the mold. I will just use the acetate sheet and put some silicone around to give the shape of the school. <laughs> and if you already know this process, you can skip this part. We need the silicone 100% and hand soap with water and that's all we need and I will just put this gently in the back because it's easier and I will do the shape just in case you don't know uh, this mix with water and hand soap will avoid the silicone sticking to your finger so every time that you will hold the silicone you need to put a uh, hand soap with water in your finger. It's important that you put a high barrier on this uh, Katrina for this project. I like the whole gloomy and full of mysticism environment so I took my time with this project. Now I will use stones and glass stones and also I will use this piece of glass for stained glass technique and this will be useful, really useful. Um, thank you to my friend Faridi who gave me this. Just do as if you hadn't seen my burnt towel. Now I will just prepare my resin and I will taint it with this magenta or Mexican pink and I will do also a romantic Katrina with a little romantic and soft pink also. I want something transparent so I didn't use so much pigment for both. I will kill those bubbles and I will carefully choose my teeth and in this Katrina I will use these stones and for the other one I will use the glass or stone glass. I have to say thank you to Mimi Angar, Dori Ayo, Charlie Mills, Jan Allen, Lourdes Bailey, oh baby, Gacha Girl, Tina Wagner, Linda Fryer and the guest. Thank you for your comments. I love you girls. I suggest you to take your time to put the glass and the stones. I will use acrylic marker or do some lines here and there. And as this is a Mexican Katrina you know we we use so much color and lines <laughs> i don't know how to say it but uh, i hope you like it as part of the charm of this project this doesn't have to look perfect and it's better if this looks ugly like mine <laughs> and this is my second coat or layer and i will add a little bit of crystal glitter and I will do the second and final layer. Now this is fully cured and I will unmold this. And I want you to note that if you do a good mold you won't sand like a lot. So be careful when you do your mold. I think I'm proud of my mold. 
but in case you don't, <laughs> uh, this is a tip, you can roll in some pen or something, the sander or the paper sand, and or use your tool for do this part of the process. This is a plus, you can do it or not, I want a kind of effect in the eyes, or where the eyes supposed to be. And I will just put this clear tape in the back to avoid the resin run over the, the all the back. And I will use these flowers you can see right in this corner or in the description uh, how to do these flowers with with paper tower and resin. And this is simple. We just fill the space with resin and clear glass stone so that's it just be careful not to put too much so that doesn't spill now i am using my spooky filter in order that you don't get bored i will use these uh, flowers that i made with the uh, paper towel and you can see how to do this in my channel, of course. And that's it. I will take out the clear tape and let's see the way it looks. It looks different, right? Now I did this uh, with cardboard and this is like um, a support for what I'm planning to do for the next step. And just be careful that these don't mess with the shore of the Katrina. And I had to do this because my resin is not too hard, but if you have um, really, really hard resin, you don't need to do this. You just need to put something in between the two Katrinas to let them separate one from the other. Now I'm pretty much sure that you didn't understand what I'm trying to say, so um, maybe it's better if, if we just see this. I will use clear tape to hold this to the Katrina and beg for this works! I'm kidding, this will work but if you have a better solution for this I will be glad to hear it What I'm trying to do is to hold very carefully the, the support with the Katrina just letting all the, sh the shore free of everything and that's what I'm trying to do because I want that space in between the two schools so we just pasted this with hot glue and we wait till it's dry this is kinda our secret ingredient we will use this super glue and these tights and let's see how this will give us a cool support for our lamp and now i'm trying to dress my katrina i want you to note the middle lines of the tights are crossing the face or the school not the lateral or the sides of the lamp be careful, do not tear the meshes. And we must leave it as tight as possible. And right now is the time for our super glue takes action. And we will put not so much super glue, just a little bit. In every edge or the four corners I don't know how to say it but you are seeing what I'm doing and if you see carefully you will note that I didn't put in all the edge only in the middle part and this is very important now I made some resin and I will put in small amounts in all over the mesh but you really need to be careful to 
clean the back in order to do not have uh, drips and the secret is that you have to put in small amounts and I will try to fade these two colors it is not simple but it's possible don't forget to subscribe like and share <laughs> wait 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 this is Halloween don't forget to subscribe, like and share. <laughs> Please don't leave me, I will behave, I promise. <laughs> Be careful with the edge, because if you don't do this carefully, the resin will came with the face or the school, and we don't want that. So you have to put the edges just super, super carefully. Now I will just cut the rest or what I don't need. The exacto knife will be our friend for this part and just be careful. You, you need to be careful with so much things, right? But it's true, be careful with the exacto knife. To don't scratch the resin or something. As this is our first layer it's easy to cut even in the resin but uh, if you do two or three layers this will be impossible so i suggest you to do this in the first layer and finally i will clean the edge again with the exacto knife and this was uh, easy to do because the super glue uh, give me the opportunity to cut this with no problems and now i will do the shape and that is this is our support or lateral support for our lamp and it's still and it's still weak so we have to put two or three layers more to give this a strong a really really strong support this is my third layer now and I will add some mini flowers and I will add first the resin, it's a little bit tacky and I will blend it with the torch and that's it for the lateral. I will put more flowers when the resin is so so tacky and I will take out that <laughs> that was not so easy because I used too much hot glue you don't have to use a lot of hot glue another thing that I really hate is the fact that there is a lot of humidity in here or I don't know how to say this but the resin it's not hard enough it's just oh, nothing that I want to leave again now I'm going to assemble the socket and this is pretty easy and there is a lot of videos on YouTube that can help you with this part that's because my English is so lazy and I can't explain fully what I'm doing. <laughs> I learn a lot of things for this try and I have so many things to fix for the next try <laughs> uh, but I really hope something of this really really help you. I paint the lateral and I will put the eye pin I will put four eye pins and um, this chain will help me to hold the lamp better. I just put around the wire and then I will put four more uh, pieces of chain in the eye pins. And this is it. I will put a little bit more of chain to hold it better. And ta-da! This is my Katrina School lamp. 
Thank you for staying with me till the end and for your support. I really, really appreciate all that you do for this channel and for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What do you think? I really want to know. I always want to know. So please leave a comment or tell me what will you do different. See you next time.